All right, I'm here. I'm at Troy's. There's the tiny house on wheels. Ha! Huh. How cool is that? I'm here. Sweet. Let's go see Troy. All right, sun's off over here. Troy and Trucker Buck are over there. I found an old milk carton, which I stuck in this orange bag, so I don't get shot out here. See the summit, dry bag. I found an old milk jug, and I put some acorns in it. I'm walking through the woods, shaking it, because I can't legally hunt in New York, since I live in Kentucky, without buying a, what, three-day hunting license for 150 bucks or something. So I just walk through the woods on this side of the swamp, making noise, heading toward the sun, and trying to scare the deer to them, and they're on the other side of the swamp, over there on that hill, up ahead here. So I'm just walking along, trying to make noise, trying to scare the deer their way. Why not? What the heck? Plus I get to sneak around and play in the woods. So, it's all fun. And just one more note. I'm not worried about finding my way back because the sun is over there and the swamp is down there. All I've got, I took, I got my compass. Got my, let's see if I can get it on there. Got my compass on. I took a bearing when I left the cabin along the swamp. I took a bearing on the sun and got the degrees of the sun from where I started. So, to find my way back, all I got to do is go back to the edge of the swamp, which is just right down the hill there, and, re, you know, subtract 180 degrees from the bearing of the sun from the edge of the swamp, and turn my compass the other way around, and follow it back 180 degrees and I go right back to where I started from. As long as I leave the woods before the sun goes down, I'm good. Or as long as I get back to the swamp, I should say. Take my bearing, put the needle in the doghouse and just follow the compass. Take me right back to the cabin. Guess what I found in the woods? I found the table's little brother. Just out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just left the, the do-it-yourself world with Troy Reed, off-grid homestead, Trucker Buck was there. I mean, I kind of showed up in the middle of their deer hunting. It was not something that I had planned ahead of time with them. But they were nice enough to be hospitable and let me hang out. I got to go out in the woods and chase deer with them and had a lot of fun. I was only spent, originally planning on spending one night, and uh, I stuck to my original plans. I just spent one night, so I'm back on the road, heading toward Niagara Falls. And we'll see where we go after that. I'm going to get up here into town and get me some gas and get me some, some lunch. And start plotting my GPS back on the road. I will say one thing about upstate New York. I love the looks of these rolling mountain hills. It's just mountain after mountain after mountain. I mean, they're not big mountains, they're almost more like foothills, but it's just one after another. Just keep driving and you see more and more and more. It's just very beautiful. Especially like here, I'm going to the top. When I get up to the top, start going down the other side. I'll pop back on and show you. Not quite the perfect example, but you can see this big one up here, up ahead, big one off to the left. Very, very, very beautiful. 
beautiful part of the country. Would have been more beautiful a couple of weeks ago before all the leaves fell off, but I still, I like the wilderness and things like this. I didn't know how I was going to put the GoPro on the dash. I wanted to. So I thought, uh, why not try Silly Putty? And it works. Silly Putty works pretty good. First they're spraying the skies with who knows what, now they're spraying it on the roads, and what's the purpose? So when you dry o drive over it, it gets aerated into the air and you breathe it? I can't see any other reason to be spraying stuff on the roads. I mean, not lines like that. It makes no sense to me. I mean, it's not like they're spraying tar or something to patch the roads up. They're spraying chemicals on the roads. Seems fishy. There we go. 6.5 miles. Take ramp on right to I 690 East. Thank you. Take ramp on right to I 690 East. Seven miles. Take exit 1617 on right to Route 635, then keep left. Take exit 1617 on right to Route 635, then keep left. Keep left to Route 635, then keep right. Keep right to Route 635 North. Three miles, keep right on Carrier Parkway, then turn left. Keep right on Carrier Parkway, then turn left. Three miles, turn left.
left on Old Colliery Road. Point two miles. 